morning YouTube uh, we're trying to get back on some more boat projects I know it's been a while uh, here in my chaparral we're trying to install today a Garmin GPS 943 XSV uh, some of the Garmin's were an option on this boat but this one came with just gauges so I'm trying to install this while I'm at it I'm gonna have to go ahead and put in a NEMA 2000 network so I got a starter kit here, got an extra backbone kit, and I also have a Clarion M608 head unit. So we're gonna install this to hook it into the MFD. Got a Y cable here for the remotes to be able to connect this in. Got our template here. And then while I'm at it, I'm trying to also install it for another project. Uh, another device, that'll be a separate video, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and run these cables and everything out. This is a cannon cable, the termination only at one end and not the other end. And then also a junction box to go under the helm as well. Uh, this boat has smart craft capabilities. It's a manual shift, not a DTS, uh, but to add any of the other items to the smart craft network, I need a junction box under the helm. This boat only has the Faria gauges and not the Mercury SC1000 gauges, so I don't have a junction box under the helm. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that and we'll go from there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this cover off and kind of show you what I'm working with and what the plan right, is. So this is what I'm working with. I got a tack on this side where all the information comes into, and I got two multi function gauges. And then over here, I've got a speedometer. Uh, and the goal is this is can be GPS enabled, doesn't have it built in. So from the chart plotter, I can run NMEA. 0183 to get the GPS speed into this. I've done it before with a different unit, a little handheld plugged in on that cable. And, but my goal is to get rid of these two gauges and put the Garmin here. It should just barely fit on the nine inch screen. I may have to swap it to a seven inch, but I really hope not. Um, now, a lot of these boats that came factor with the GPS, they had, uh, one of these two gauges over here where the GPS was, or the speedometer, and they did not have this speedometer. They had one of these multi-function gauges and because they got the speed and depth off of the Garmin or other unit that was installed. Uh, but my goal is to go ahead and get these two out. Uh, these should all be daisy chain it starts over here, and then I believe it runs over here to the GPS next, and then daisy chain to these two. Uh, but this in this gauge here the tack puts all the information out and on the lcd screen uh anything that's present currently in my setup on these two gauges also will show up through here so i don't believe i will lose anything i don't think anything actually comes into these to be passed over i think it all comes from here into these so that's the plan and the goal hopefully it all works and then as far as the stereo connection to put it on the enemy in the MEA network. Uh, I do have a remote here. I'll probably will put the Y behind here if I can. How to see if it's here or over behind the actual head unit across over here. Uh, so I'll install it either way. I've got backbone cables on. I thought I should be able to run one side or the other. So the first goal for me is to go ahead. Uh, I'm not going to show you every single step. I'll talk about it, but I'm not going to film all the actual process. So I'm going to go ahead and get behind here, get these two gauges unhooked and pulled out and probably pull the panel out so we can go ahead and get the template on here and get it cut out it should just barely fit on here as far as the outer diameter and should have enough room between the screws that hold the panel on behind it to be in place so that's the goal uh we'll keep you updated and see how it goes All right, so I've just opened the box up and got the cover at the unit. I'm gonna try to get in here and get the T connections out so I can go ahead and get all the T's and go ahead and hook up all the cables on the back side under the helm before I actually install this. And we'll be back after that. So this is the cover sitting on the panel, as you can tell. It just barely fits corner to corner. So that should be the biggest screen that I can get on the Chef Rail 226 panel. All right, so I've got my two gauges out here and I went ahead and pulled, I got a remote over here for the head unit. So these are the instructions here. That's kind of the diagram with and without a remote. You can kind of flip it over any way you plug. One end of the cable here, 
this side over here into the either the Y for me since I have the remote. And then that goes to your Nemo backbone. But you also have to set these switches here up or down as it describes depending on what head unit you have. Uh, this is the sheet that came with it. It only lists this many. But if you get online, you can find their other ones that has the one for more uh, for newer head units. Uh, for like mine, the 608 and different things. Which I think is a 0110, if I remember right. Uh, that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to go ahead and tie on to this other remote that I pulled out right here. Put my Y here. And then run a short drop cable back under the helm. And I'm going to bolt or screw in the unit here back in behind there on that wall to keep it right behind the Garmin GPS unit. Okay, so I've got the Clarion adapter to the NMEA 2000 and also now have my three T's installed. One T's for power, one T's for the chart plotter, and the third T goes to the Clarion adapter. Those are in. I'm going to go ahead and finish wiring up the connectors to power and ground for the power wire and the NMEA 2000 power wire. Go ahead and get those put in. I'll have better access and we'll go from there. All right, so now I have all my T fittings connected and I got all the new 2000 backbone connected to power and I also have the power harness for the chart plotter connected and both are grounded as well. My next step is to connect some of the 0183 that will run over to my gauge uh, so that the gauge itself over here, the tack will be able to have the GPS input that will pass over to the speedometer so the speedometer will read GPS speed and then it also gives me an estimated range based on the miles that I'm doing and things like that on the free uh, MG3000 gauges. Alright so now then to connect the chart plotter to the GPS antenna on the TAC uh, I have the the TX positive, the blue, on pin three, and TX negative on pin four. And those are the inputs over there on the tack on the back side for that six pin. That'd allow the tack to be able to receive the antenna, the GPS antenna signal. Here, I had to adjust a few things. Uh, still got my T connectors in the same spot, as you can see. Uh, I out of some of the cables around, but I also just went ahead and put in my junction box there. Uh, had it all screwed in right there. I want to put in the Mercury SmartCraft Connect, which is a new version of the Gateway, and basically allows interaction between a Garmin branded MFD and Mercury SmartCraft data, just like the Vessel View Link and the Vessel View Mobile, those kind of things this one connects into the Garmin but for my situation which will be a whole another video I basically got to put a junction box in put the smart craft in on one side of there connect the other end of the smart craft connect into the NEMA network and then run a blue can line all the way back to the engine and tie into the engine to be able to get the data onto the Garmin MFD but that'll be another video but this is kind of an update where we're at Still got to finish cutting the hole out in the panel and then mount it and then screw it in place and just make the connection on the back and then we'll be finished. Okay, so we're back out here. We got the Garmin panel trimmed and the Garmin unit attached to the panel. Came out to test fit it. We did a little bit of trimming on this one. I had to trim a little bit of the, the top two corners, not much. Uh, just a little bit so it's all fit now and i'm gonna go ahead and finish running some other cables and then go ahead and get the garmin back installed all right so we have the nema 0183 connections made uh, for the talk out the tx out on the antenna to the rx on the unit and we also have the unit there grounded to the common, which is this wire here. And we have the power in cable with the NEMA 0183. And then right here is my NEMA 2000 put in. And we'll go ahead and put it back in and install it.
while we're installing everything, we're going to go ahead and put this Garmin GPS 19X HSV NMEA 0183 in. I bought it for a different project, but I still had it, and so I figured I'd go ahead and use it. Ideally, since I now have the NMEA 2000 network, it'd be the same antenna with a 2000, be easier to install, but I'm going to go ahead and wire this into the NMEA 0183 while I go ahead and have everything out. So up here in the front, we went ahead and drilled and countersunk our three screw holes and our inch one inch hole there to go ahead and mount the antenna which is right behind the driver console this will be a short run for the cables